So in this section, we'll go to work on our flower texturing and a little bit organizing the textures as well. So let's go enable our flowers. And this one is, we'll go take the parent color, which is okay, but this petal is what I want to rework. So we'll go first pad. Okay. And let's go to materials. And right here, actually, we're going to create new and let's call it a flower. Okay, we'll go replace with the one we created. So we can use this one or we can create anything. And if you purchase these tutorials, you'll have a big selection of all additional so you can reuse as you want it. Highlights, I'll go put do down and let me go switch this color maybe to the wider color. Okay, we have a flower right here. Okay, and you notice this is actually going inside now. We need to do the same for this one, and I'm just selecting flower. So now our petals is the right color. And let's switch this on a bottom one. So we'll go bottom one, select materials, and we'll just go select the flowers. Okay, follow this. However, if you notice sometimes the little bit different colors, what I want to do, I want to actually go inside here and make it just a little bit darker. There you go. So there you look a little bit better. Okay, a um, couple other things we can modify. It is work with transparency. Um, I'm kind of probably go pop up just slightly transparency on this because I want to have this translucent light coming. But if we're using translucity, which we can do after, it will work okay, but it's take a little bit longer render than transparency. But however, how I said, I want to have this kind of lights can go through that. So we'll click OK here. Let's go on this flower. And as well, just pop up slightly transparency on this. So simulating somewhat translucency. Okay, there is our flower. Okay, maybe you know what, move these pads just a little bit down that area. So let's go to the pads and right here we'll just put it 0 0.7, 0 0.7, there you go, just move them a little bit off, let me see how they look right here, okay, and also let's go surface of the segment, place them, and I'm just looking right here a little bit don't like how they come up so maybe just change a little bit the angle okay let's go to put zero okay and put it maybe 45 okay Just to example, let me put it 90 and see. Um, so the other will go a little bit down. So let's go to 25. Okay, yeah, 25, just slightly better, I think. Okay, and we can also, till we here, we can go ahead and modify with maybe 2.8. Okay, let's go 3.1. Just adjusting and see. I want them touch right here, so this will work. There you go. So that's look 
a little bit better. Okay, let's go save it. And I'm going to right now just enable it and see how they overall are plant looking. So we have tentacles, we have our leaves. We still need to work on a beans and pods, so we'll do on that one. Okay, growth, a small. And again, those one will take parent color, which is kind of, it's what I want to do. Okay, and let's go enable this one on top. So we have our plant, and next I want to actually enable pods. Okay, so right here we have our kind of plant being plan adjusting. Uh, latest, last things what I want to do is work on this kind of bean pods, but want to create different texture for him for them but it's based on our so it kind of can look a little bit better okay let's go save go in Photoshop and for this one I want to create a new and we'll just 1000 by 1000 will probably work fine okay we'll go to um, Select ours. Let's go to preloaded. Okay, stamp colors because I just want to select overall colors. So we can kind of use it same palette. Okay, and right here what I want to do, I want to create if you remember overall look on them, um kind of same colors. So we'll go to fill up. Next filter, render, we'll go to render with the clouds. Okay, maybe just add slightly darker. Okay, this is will be overall, but I want to add effects and we also I want to add again displacement. Displacement we can use it the same as we use it on the other plans, but overall here's our schema and if you look on the pots, they don't look um, with lines so they kind of same almost color so we'll do this way uh, let's go filter blur blur so just reduce a little bit and let's add one more layer okay we'll go to filter render actually noise add noise okay let me do this way noise add noise okay we'll go switch this to the soft light we'll go to filter blur and we'll use the blur for this just to add this roughness almost look and we'll go just that more you can see when it's coming just like that this is kind of like roughness to almost the bean. So I'm going to save that one. Okay, and we'll save this, let's save as JPEG, smaller size. Okay. And I call pods. Okay, now back here we'll go to our beans. Materials. We have a segment body, it's what we want to do. So let's go open. It's right here. We'll go edit. And let's go to preload texture that we created. Okay, as well, we need to go into highlights. And you know what? Just reduce the our highlights a little bit. Okay, let's go click OK. And I want to add displacement to this as well. And we'll use it same displacement as we used on the leaves. So right here, leaf displacement. Okay, and we'll just 
slightly, not that big displacement, just a little bit. So overall, I just add a little bit more kind of texturing to this. Okay, so we have it. Preview our parts. Okay, I think we can go ahead and save this as a plant and try to render inside the view. So we'll go to File, Export, and again, this is producer version. If you have it, other versions, you can export or do other ways. But the same thing, so I'm going and export this as a view species. The one thing you'll notice, it may give you error that's so wind applied, so you need to go inside um, options and actually work here on a different type optimization. For example, right here, you can optimize for animation. So on this case, it will work a little bit better as animation. But for me, um, I don't really care about the wind for this one, so it will be just static. So for me, I want optimize for the quality and render, obviously. Okay, so let's go export and be sure you just select incorporate texture map and compress file will make smaller, but take just a little bit longer to load it. If you work on a speed, don't care about space, you can un unselect this, it will be faster but I will just set as default and I'm going to get save this. So in the next tutorial, we'll go inside the view and um, try to render, see what we come up with.